Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you a really casual video. I'm literally sat on the floor. My hair's not wet before you ask. Um, I've literally just washed it, got ready, and I'm about to go out and run a few errands. But I thought, let me film this video first because I've got a few different shops to go to and if I put my mask on, my makeup's gonna get ruined. So here we are. I popped into TK Maxx yesterday. I love TK Maxx. That is the one shop I actually just missed during lockdown because I'm not fussed about high street shops. I don't like shopping in person. But TK Maxx is just one of those shops and home sense that you just pop into. I just love having a mooch around. You never know what you're gonna find. They have some absolute gems and they stock some like really great brands. So I popped in yesterday and you guys know that I'm not really a big spender apart from TK Maxx clearly. But at the moment my skin is just awful like it just is just breaking out constantly and i think it's it's a combination of three things i think it's because we have to wear these masks and everyone has been complaining about having loads of spots and blemishes around their chin area and i totally get that because i'm the same i think it's also just a bit hormonal i think it's that time of month approaching very soon and very often i just get loads of breakouts here it's usually on one cheek and not the other but this time when it's on both so I don't know, maybe it's a combination of the mask and the hormonal stuff. And also just this time of year, we've started putting the heating on at home. Every now and again, it's cold outside, it just messes with your skin. So I need all the help I can get. I'm constantly like trying to use up all the masks I have at home and like slap on loads of skincare and I'm trying to be extra good with it at the moment, but it's just not really working. So I thought I'd have a look at their skincare because they sell some like really good brands and oh my God, I hit the jackpot. I saw my friend Amina, she bought this in T a TK Maxx in Birmingham a few weeks ago, put it on her Instagram story, and I DM'd her saying this is like such a great product, and I love it, and I wish I had it back in my life. And then I spotted it. <laughs> I don't know if you were to see it. Sorry, I'm also sat on the floor. I've got windows either side of me, and the sun is just like going up and down. So I'm sorry if I look washed out. I have no artificial lighting. It's just all natural, and it's just doing weird things. But this, Oh my god, I literally hit the jackpot. It is the Alpha H Liquid Gold. If you don't know what it is, it's a chemical exfoliator. You literally just apply it as a toner, like you cleanse your skin, like wash it, take your makeup off, cleanse it, and then you put it on with a damp, no, and then you just put it on with a cotton wool pad. And oh my god, I absolutely love this stuff. It's essentially the same as the Pixi Glow Tonic, and in fact, I always thought this was a lot stronger than the Pixie one and my friend was telling me that it's exactly the same in terms of they both have 5% glycolic acid. Um, I can't see it anywhere on the packaging, it might be underneath the security sticker. So I didn't know that because I always thought this one was a lot stronger but it certainly feels a lot stronger on the skin. I don't know if that's because my skin is just so accustomed to the glow tonic that it doesn't really work because I do use that I'd say about five nights a week. Whereas this, I think you're supposed to use every other day if I remember correctly. But honestly, this product is like the glow tonic on steroids. And it smells a bit like Jack Daniels from what I remember. But anyway, I'm very excited to have this back in my life. And this one is not the full size one, I don't think, but it's 50 mil. And it said it retailed for 25 and it is down to 12.99, which is such a great price. I'm pretty sure the full size one is £37 or so if I'm not mistaken. So I was very happy. And I actually picked up the last one on the shelf. So I probably would have bought two if there was two available. This one was a bit of a last minute. Just saw it, grabbed it, chucked it in the basket. But this is the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. And no, it is not for my nipples. It is a lip balm. Apparently it's meant to be really good. Now, I'm not really in, like... <sighs> in that whole beauty scene at the moment. So I don't really follow a lot of beauty bloggers. Like I don't really, like no disrespect to them, but I don't really care what the latest eyeshadow palette is or the must have lipstick. Like I just don't care. I'm quite happy with the makeup that I have. And so I don't know if this is like quite outdated beauty news, but people used to rave about this and say it's a really good lip balm. And it was 2 dollars I need a lip balm. Like I always need lip balm. And yeah, it said it retailed for $8.99. So I don't know. This isn't a tinted one. They had like a mixture of these and tinted ones on the shelf. So I picked up the original. Okay, I also picked up two of these. I've just taken the label off one. It's the Clarins Multi Active Nui Night Cream that targets fine lines revitalizing night cream. So there we go. It's a 30 ml night cream. I picked one up for me, one up for Jas really affordable i don't know if i believe this because i don't really buy clarence products i don't think but it said it retailed for 27 pounds 
don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera. And it's six ninety nine. So even if it didn't really retail for £27, and that's a lie, seven quid for a high-end night cream for 30 ml of product is really good in my opinion. So yeah, picked up two of these. I have loads of those in stock, by the way. I also picked up these Invisi bobbles. I only ever really use hair bobbles when my hair's straight because there's too much volume in my hair. Like I feel like I have too much hair when it's curly, but it's a lot thinner when it's straight. If I don't, it's really weird. I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but when my hair is straight, I don't like, I always use a hair clip, which I don't have on me, just to pin bits of it back. But when my hair's straight, I just tie it up when I go to bed. And these were 2 99 for a pack of three and they retail for 5 95 apparently. I've never had the proper Invisi bubbles. I do have, like a fake brand that I was gifted years ago that I used so I just thought it'd be interesting to see if the original is any better sometimes things are sometimes they aren't but yeah and these are black by the way I didn't just buy them for no reason these are black the ones I was gifted are like see-through so yeah I also picked up this first aid beauty ultra repair um instant oatmeal mask and Again, I don't know if this is like outdated beauty news, but I, I know that this used to be quite a popular product back in the day. Never tried anything from First Aid Beauty before, but like I said, my skin is just disgusting and it's not disgusting, okay? That's a bit, that's a bit harsh on my skin. It's just not, it's just not playing ball. So I thought I'd try it. It doesn't say how much it retails for, but this was £10 and I thought that's not too bad for what I assume is a high-end product because I think it's sold in Sephora. That was like my only basis of, I don't know. And I thought a tenner wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's definitely American because you get two ounces of product. So I have no idea what that is in mils. 56 grams, uh, who knows. Anyway, yeah, it says it's meant to nourish and rejuvenate and it's safe for sensitive skin. And yes, it's sealed. I kind of didn't check this in the shop because you know TK Maxx you have to check because people just use everything as a tester okay the next one's a bit random um like I said I'm not really a big spender in life I used to be not anymore but I have these moments like at this point I'd had quite a lot of stuff in my basket and Jasmine picked up a few bits and I just keep throwing bits in like I'm just on a roll and I start to like almost spiral I'm like ah oh, let's go on a spending spree this was a bit random but I think it would be good again maybe it's old beauty news but this is the Egyptian magic cream all-purpose skin cream people used to rave about this a while back and now I don't exactly know <laughs> like I don't know I can't remember like what it does. I've just like a lot of people, a lot of beauty bloggers that I used, that I trust used to rave about it. So I thought, meh, it's a tenner. I'll just buy it, you know? So I did, I will have to research this. But again, at this point I was just like, oh my skin, like I need all the help I can get. And then, so I just kept adding things into my basket. But it does say it's an all purpose skin cream. And where's the English? I don't know, we'll see. I'll let you know how I get on with that one. And then after all that, I noticed the clearance section <laughs> where Jas was hovering. I'll show you the two bits he bought. He bought this McNatty shower wash he was showing me. He literally just bought it because it was 70p. Like, that's the kind of shopper he is, I'll, I'll tell you that. Like, if it's just ridiculously cheap, whatever it is, he'll buy it. <laughs> but yeah, he bought this, uh, looks like a men's one, I don't know. But let's smell it. Oh, it smells quite nice actually. It's rosemary and cypress. Cypress. Whatever that is. It smells nice. It was 70p. Be rude to have left that on the shelf. And he also bought a moisturiser for men. A brand called Leah Natural. Lay Natural. I don't know. A moisturiser for a fiver. So that was his little purchase. He also bought a jumper, which he's returning, which he didn't like. But I then discovered the clearance section. So I went to have a look and I found this body cream by Pi. I've heard great things about Pi skincare, actually. I don't know if this is for kids, though, because it's called Petty Pie. So I don't actually know if it's for kids, but whatever. It's a... Oh, my God, it is. It says we understand that delicate infant skin 
Okay, well, this is not for adults, but it's a face and body cream, and it's apple and mallow blossom. Apparently, it retailed for 22 quid, and it was four pounds. So, I have no child, but I will be using this on my body, not my face. How funny is that? Why did I not even, like, read it? Anyway, whatever, it was, it's a body cream. Like, it can't be bad for me if it's good for kids. Do you know what I mean? I bought a spatula, a Joseph Joseph one. I absolutely love that TK Maxx do Joseph Joseph or HomeSense. And with every trip, I'm trying to replace all of the utensils and what are things like, what are bits called? Like, not utensils, but what's the word for like bits of stuff in your kitchen? Like a tin opener, a peeler. A garlic crush. I'm trying to replace everything in my life with Joseph Joseph accessories because I just love their stuff. I don't have anything that's red from them yet. I normally, I mostly just have their green stuff. But it was between this and like a horrible turquoise one that was a bit battered and damaged, and it was a fiver. And what I really like about their little products is they're great for non-stick stuff. I have a lot of metal utensils and non-stick pans so this is great but also i can't believe i'm reviewing like a spatula but it has a thing can you see here so you can rest it on the counter oh god how am i gonna do this so you can rest it on the counter but it doesn't get dirty with all the food that you have anyway whatever it's great it's a spatula this is the one it's joseph joseph apparently retails for a tenner and it's now 4.99 in tk maxx so check it out okay my next two purchases are so random but i'm sure we've all been there let me know if you can relate we were in tk maxx and it was like i think approaching lunchtime but we weren't really gonna have lunch because we had like a few errands to run and a few different shops to go to and we'd had breakfast like ages ago so we were really hungry so we're at the till area we kind of picked up all these oreos <laughs> so random we actually forgot to eat them because we kind of just forgot we had them so we haven't even opened them but i think jas picked up one i picked up the other and we're trying to decide which one to buy and then of course the woman's like next customer please so we both just chucked them both in the basket and so now we have two packets but they're the mini oreos which i wanted and i don't i wasn't sure about these because they're the oreo thins and my concern was is it the biscuit that's thin or is it half the amount of cream because if it's the biscuit that's fine but i still want the same amount of cream because that's the whole point of oreos so yeah, anyway that's my exciting life story about how i end up with two packets of oreos i'm going to give a pack to my cousins actually because i'm going to go to their house later to pick up something they've printed for me anyway i didn't buy this yesterday but i wanted to just show you it's a bit gross because i picked it up like a few weeks ago and they still have loads of them in tk maxx is the wet brush I, in the middle of lockdown, I bought like a wet brush and I didn't realise at the time that it was like a sh one for the shower only. So it was kind of like all squiggly at the back and it has a handle. It's actually really great. I use both of these. I just hang it up in the shower and it's really good, but it's a bit flexible and I find it really tough to get through my hair. But this, then I picked up a proper one and oh my God, they're life changing. I know people on YouTube have been like raving about wet brushes for years, but I've never been convinced, you know? As somebody with curly hair, a lot of hair, long hair, thick hair, and hair that's just a nightmare, I'm just like, nah, that's for like, you know, fine haired, straight haired, short haired girls. But no, this is for everybody. This hairbrush is just amazing. Like it just like glides through my hair. Nothing glides through my hair. Like, I'm not the kind of girl that you could ever like run your fingers through my hair like you just don't do that with curly head girls and this just like it's just amazing like, I've never had a hairbrush that I don't have like a whole fight with and end up breaking in a week and it just I just brush my hair like a normal person and I think it was like 6.99 one of my cousins actually has she doesn't have curly hair but she has really thick hair that's quite similar in texture i think to mine maybe and she's obsessed with hairbrushes sorry my hairbrush is gross i'm just cleaning it out and so i basically did i buy her one or i told her about it i was with her ages ago and she bought one and she agrees they're life-changing so if you see a wet brush this wouldn't have been my color of choice but whatever it's amazing then definitely buy one because like tangle teaser who these are just great i think it oh i think it was like either 6.99 or 
or 9.99 or something like totally worth it it's amazing but that is the end of my haul hope you enjoyed seeing the bits that i picked up in tk maxx but thanks for watching and i'll see you soon bye